sports. It's in the game. Never leave the house without the pack. Where my d at? Take an L and try to double back. We ain't doing that. Say she mad, but I know it's cap. I've been through with that. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Hype me up. It's week nine of the NFL, and we'll see Sterling Shepard. Always staying busy, he's your league leader in receiving yards. It's the Giants and the Raiders, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. Well, there's never a shortage of shows or sights and sounds throughout this city, but for the next few hours, all eyes are glued to Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here, as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. Hi again, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at the Raiders here entering play. They've been playing their best football. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. Play fake here on first down. Escaping the pressure right. Unable to 
corral and he fights through. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. And that is a historic run for him, partner. With that pickup, he just broke Lamar Jackson's 2019 record for most yards in a season by a quarterback. No one has done it better across a 16 or 17 game schedule. Now his name will be forever linked with the best runners to ever play at that position. And between the last two plays, they moved it over half the length of the football field. Throwing on first down. Lyles. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27 yard line. He's sacked. They'll send a big tight end in motion right. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Bellinger, his first rushing touchdown of the year. And the Giants are on the board first here in Vegas. Impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in. But I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be if it ended today, but we also know it's not ending today. Right. So they've got to continue to play the type of ball that put them in the spot where they're number one in their conference. As this complete to Daniel Bellinger. Look at the big man rumble. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Daniel Bellinger, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Giants are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Charles, every time that he makes one of these plays, I, I think the front office, they get a bigger and bigger collective smile because they feel more... Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He had the touchdown... They'll start out here with the option left. And running room scares here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. So, CD, you look at this offense and what they've been able to do. 8-0, perfect through the first two months of the year. Second half of the season still to come. We get that. But what kind of a percentage chance do you think that they have of running the table? Parker, I think it's hard to say because history would tell us that the chances aren't good. I don't know. We've seen a lot of good teams get to this point. And then they have that one bad week and takes them out of the running. I'm going to say 25%, and I feel like I'm being generous with that number. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. And now they'll shift things around. On first and 10, Lyles. Now this thrown deep for Slayton. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Pass to Bellinger on the crossing route. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. A game there of 30 big ones. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Raiders are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. 
So this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but giving the ball away here in the opening quarter. I love the surprise in your voice. We get... There he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He's got the lead here in the second quarter. He's thrown the touchdown, but also an interception. As a quarterback, does that interception, even though you're playing while your team's got the lead, does that always stick in the back of your mind a little bit? For the best ones, it just upsets them that they did that because they don't think there should be any blemishes on their record. They think that they're way better than that. So your confidence gets tested a little bit. Being able to go back out there, maybe throw another touchdown, That'll tamp that down in a big way. Yeah, I can see he's looked pretty good to this point. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Looking to throw. Lyles. And down he goes. Brought down a Raider sack. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Back to throw. Lyles looking for Shepard deep. And this is taken in at the five. Touchdown, Giants. Sterling Shepard. Touchdown number 15 of the year. And the Giants had six to their lead. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed, aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him improve throughout the year. We've seen him settle in now, and you can see the confidence of the team has grown. His confidence has grown. I think that everyone around this guy feels good about what they've Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He had the touchdown pass. Here we go, here we go. Let's go. Throwing to start the drive. Lyles. Gets around him. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Personal foul. Face back. Defense. Yeah, we saw that from up here, CD. A tug on the face mask, and the flag comes out. And we saw that last Automatic week they had some defensive down. miscues like that, and they told us that they had worked hard on it in practice and thought they had it all cleaned up. But obviously the message hasn't really sunk in. On first down, Lyles. That ball caught by Campbell. And they move this all the way down to the nine. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Another milestone falling on that last throw in what has been an MVP-type season so far as he has now gone over 4,000 yards passing already on the year. And it's been a whole lot of fun to watch as he put together this type of a season. And to me, you have to figure, with so many games remaining, I could breeze past 5,000 yards. Could he challenge the all-time record? Maybe even bump it up closer to 6,000 yards? I can't wait to watch. And the way he's playing, I wouldn't put it past him. He'll buy some time. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. He continues to show at this level that he can not only pass for touchdowns, he can run for touchdowns. Not the first time we've seen this because this young guy, he really makes it happen. So what that tells me is the book on him has to change. You've got to now plan for those legs as well as him throwing the football. He's not only thrown a couple of touchdown passes in this first half, he's run for one as well, as he'll start again with a first down. Throwing to start the drive, Lyles. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 
Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. And cue the applause, and there it is for him. The mark he's been aiming for all season long. 1,000 yards. Just a third quarterback to reach that milestone, joining Lamar Jackson and Michael Vick. That's a season's worth of work and a huge commitment to get him the touches that he needed to make that happen. Congratulations. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 32-yard line. Looking to throw. Lyles flush to his right. Fighting his way through contact. And they move this all the way down to the nine. 23 yards on the tuck and run. No surprise to see him running again here. It's something he's done throughout this season. And that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, what's to stop me from going for 1,000? They go play action here on first down. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Daniel Bellinger on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Giants are able to add on to their first-half lead. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long, and this time... That was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around. They're reading coverages early. So now they're like season. He's been sensational all year. He threw touchdown pass number 45. The last. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. A gain of 12. And the Giants, first down. Go! Back to throw. Lyles eluding the pressure right. And they're able to get this one across the 35. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Looking to throw. Lyles buying time to his left. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. And you know what we just witnessed, partner? A new NFL record for single game rushing by a quarterback, breaking Colin Kaepernick's record of 181 yards set in the playoffs back in 2013. How about that field vision, athleticism that we've seen throughout this game? It's been nothing short of the lead. He's got the first down. He's got a big game going right now. Already over 100 yards receiving in this first half alone. Back to throw. Lyles flushed out right. Oh, good move. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 23 yards on the tuck and run. These are running back numbers that he's accumulated right now. Received double-digit carries and has rewarded them by breaking the century mark and rushing, in addition to what he's done through the air. Definitely MVP caliber football we're witnessing. Throwing on first down, Lyles. Throw right side, taken in by Bellinger. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speech, it... And he's going to pull his way into the end zone for a Giants touchdown. Saquon Barkley, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Giants go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. So it's a pretty good season he's putting together running the football. That now 10 rushing touchdowns on the year. And we know this is a passing league, and those numbers throwing the football, 
They seem to go up and up every year. But there's still something to having a reliable back you can count on in the red zone to bring things home for you. And that... Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. He does have... A final shot before break. Lyles escaping the pressure right. Now this thrown deep for Slayton. And this one is incomplete. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, all right, Brandon, thank you very much. Hi again, everyone. Let's get you caught up with what's going on around the NFL as we are officially into the second half of the season. We'll get started up at Lincoln Financial Field in Philly. And in the second quarter, it is the Eagles who are out in front. Jalen Hurts has thrown a touchdown pass. From there, we move to Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City to see what's going on with the Chiefs. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Miami Dolphins. Isaiah Pacheco. What a game. Three touchdown runs in the victory. Lastly, we head to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Check on the Patriots. And they were winners in that ball game as they beat the visiting Washington Commanders. Mac Jones, sharp in the victory as his guys get back within a game of 500. Here, it was the always dangerous Saquon Barkley with the impressive first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. The highlights from the first half, all one-sided. This one got out of hand early, and now you have to wonder how these teams will approach this second half. So now the Giants set to take over on offense. They've gone two months without a loss, eight straight wins for them, and they've got the lead here in this one as well, trying to make it nine in a row. Off the play fake. Lyles looking for Shepard deep. It's caught inside the 25. It's a big time play there for the G-Man. 64 yards. Boy, this has just been an offensive clinic. It's seemingly been one big play after another, after another, and add this one onto the list. When you can bite off more than half the field on one play, <laughs> things are definitely working in your favor. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Looking to throw. Lyles, they'll roll him out right. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Giants are pouring it on. And this is a balancing act for a head coach with a rookie quarterback. You've got to walk a line with him. You don't want him getting happy feet but you also don't want to rein in what worked for him in college. And here, he pulls it down, takes it himself, and takes it into the end zone. The possession switching back to the New York Giants. to start the drive. Lyles flush to his right. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Parker, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because 
He has been terrific in a dual threat role, really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simple put, that defense has had no way of stopping it. And the Raiders have got him. Max Crosby in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down. Then a near sack, they got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield. To help. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Darren Waller, 68 yards. And the Giants just continue to roll. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is, when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. to take the field and they just continue to roll right along really this has the looks of yet another victory as they hope to polish it off here in quarter number four on first and ten Lyles that would almost intercept it but it's incomplete not a good throw there and it'll be second down Off play action, Lyles looking for Shepard deep. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Partner, you and I have struggled with this for years. You've got the lead, just take care of the football and burn some of that clock. But there's something to be said for not taking your foot off the gas as well, because you can never have too big of a cushion. That one though, falls incomplete. And he is caught. He's going to have the first down and then some. Touchdown, Giants. Darius Slayton, 75 yards. And the Giants add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Yet another touchdown in what has just been a high-scoring affair, a fun one to watch, and it's the rookie quarterback, Charles, coming through with yet another touchdown pass to... Now out come the Giants. Been a very strong performance for them, really on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs, the most recent example. And now. On first down, Lyles, a short throw pulled in by Bellinger. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Off the play fake, Lyles. Another pass complete to Bellinger. So the completion good for six yards, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Off play action, Lyles. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Giants are going to be set up with a first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. Back to throw again, sliding out of the pocket. And he's got his man in stride, complete. A gain of nine there, sets up second and goal. Off the play fake, Lyles steps away to his left. 
And he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Rolling to his right. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Giants are on their way to a 9-0 start as they build on to their lead. I'm pretty sure that that was a passing play, but he took off pretty quickly and ran with it. Love his decisiveness on it because you're exactly right. He was supposed to go back in the pocket and survey the field and throw the football. But when that hole opened, he just said, forget it, let's go. And boy, did that work out well. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second down at a yard. Delivering another one here to Darren Waller. He's got it again. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. 83 yards receiving now for him on the afternoon as he's got a first down here. Back to throw. Lyles, a short throw pulled in by Bellinger. So the completion good for seven there. And it's second down. They'll look to throw again. Short throw going to be caught by Waller. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 31-yard line. 14 yards through the air. Caught the D off guard on third and one. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in... Touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need... You and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. Again, he'll drop to throw. Being chased out left. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Giants are closing in on a ninth victory on the year as they extend their lead. The defensively didn't seem like anybody had eyes on the quarterback, and he took advantage. So you think that maybe you were seeing... The New York set to take the field. Let's go now. Let's pray, baby. They don't want it. Ready, ready. They'll try and run some clock here with Barkley. And they can't bring him down. Down the sideline he goes. And he steps out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35. 62 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. One of the reasons that this team is on this win streak, big runs like that. When you see runs like that broken off, you know this is a team that's confident running the football. A big reason why this streak has occurred, they've come together, had a plan, and stuck to it. And when you get big time runs like that, Makes it easier to stay with it, doesn't it? And they move this all the way down to the nine. 
Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first round pick this year. And part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. A little juke. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. So second and goal, and standing by himself in the backfield, Barkley. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Eluding the pressure right. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. What an effort there. Sometimes you hold your breath a bit when you see your quarterback diving for the end zone. You don't want him to land on a shoulder wrong or take a big shot. But he looks none the worse for wear here. And that winds up a touchdown. Well, this was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles E's defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency, not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory, even better for them. So for the Jets, the train just keeps rolling 9-0 now to start this campaign. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Big D to take on the Cowboys. Meanwhile, for the Raiders, the loss will drop them to 6-3 and three now on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. Anyone getting on the sticks tonight? Yeah, I'm game, dude. Let's do it. Way to come through, fellas. Let's get it. Good, 
know she on top of that she good for me made me want to say Hold even though i got plenty go. if we're down to my last penny i still got a Catching the vibe. I told the valley, take your time, it might get a vibe. Floating through the front door, my mind is time. Now. Good Lord, mama, you know you're looking divine. I had to turn around, double take, take a look at that. Girl, you got good taste, where you cook it at? You can mingle with the cool kids. I'm out here sweating like a preacher in a pool pit. Even when I'm down Let's back, go. I know how to get bounce up. back. I know I got her. And she look good, don't she? On top of that, she good for me. Ready, ready. Everyone say, ready, ready. and even though I got plenty. I'm down to my last penny. I still got him. I know I got him.